Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Brenna, and in today's video, we are going to be trying this Hourglass Ambient Light Lighting Edit in Universe Unlocked. It has a finishing powder, two blushes, a bronzer, and a strobe powder in it. Now, my husband got this for me because I recently had surgery. I had a hysterectomy, and he wanted to get me a gift, and so he bought me a bunch of makeup from Ulta. Um, actually, like the day after my surgery, I got an Ulta magazine in the mail, and I was just looking through it, and he was kind of hovering over my shoulder, and I was like, oh, I would love to try this, and I would love to try this, and I listed off a few things, and those are the things he ended up buying me. And this Hourglass little palette is one of the things that he purchased. Hourglass is one of those brands that is super duper expensive and I never would have purchased this on my own. So I'm very thankful that he bought it for me. So this is going to be the star of the show today. I already have on my foundation, concealer, a little bit of setting powder, my eyebrows are on. Um, all of the products that I use will be linked down below. Um, but this is going to be the star of the show um, to use for blush, bronzer, highlight, and finishing powder. So, but before I do that, I want to use this little Natasha Denona palette. I got this from BoxyCharm um, as an add-on. These are typically like, they range anywhere from $25 to $45 just for this five pan shadow. <laughs> Um, and I only had to pay $9 through BoxyCharm for it. So I actually purchased this one and I wanted um, another one. I believe it was called Peak, but they didn't have it in stock. And I was really sad because out of the two, I really wanted to try Peak the most. Um, but I also have this Natasha Denona palette, which I also received through BoxyCharm. This is the Ayana palette, and I love this for like everyday eyeshadow because it's just those nice neutral colors. But yes, so I want to put on some eyeshadow before we move on to the Hourglass palette. So I'm going to do a little fast forward action for that while I apply this. Oh, but first, before I do the fast forward action, I want to do some swatches of this and show them to you. Here are the swatches from that palette. This palette also is called Jubilee. I am really liking this color right here, but I think I'm going to use that as my eyeliner today and use um, some of these other colors for my eyeshadow. But oh, look how pretty it is. So pretty. All right, my eyeshadow is on this blue color right here. It turned out to be much more glittery than I was expecting. Um, but overall, I really like how this look turned out. Um, I will try to get a little closer so you can see the finished eye look. I like how it turned out. It's very bold, it's very colorful which is not usually what I wear, but I do want to start getting into more color because I like how color looks on eyes. It just looks really beautiful. I'm more of a neutrals, browns, tans, peaches kind of girl, but I do want to start getting into more into some more color and um, that is what I did today with this Jubilee palette. So let's move on to the star of the show. <laughs> My hourglass palette. 
I am so, 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 so excited to use this. Um, I'm going to use this for bronzer, contour, blush, and highlight. And it also has a um, like setting powder that I will be lightly putting all over my face. So I know I showed you this earlier, but I want to point out that this is the finishing powder in Radiant Light. This is blush in the shade Rose Heat. We have a bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light. A blush again, which is the shade Coral Flush. And then the strobe powder, which is Solar Strobe Light. Um, I think for the blush, I'm going to use the Coral Flush. Is that what I said? Yes, Coral Flush, because it matches a bit more with my um, eyeshadow that I have going on today. Um, but for starters, we are going to start with the bronzer. And I'm going to take my brush that I typically use for bronzer. This is an Eco Tools bronze brush. So I'm going to dip into that. hoping I love this palette as much as I'm wanting to love it. <laughs> if not, the good thing about Ulta is if you purchase makeup from there, you can take it back and get your money back for it if it's not something that you like, which I enjoy because who wants to buy makeup, especially expensive makeup, and not be able to return it? You know, like if you're not going to use it, you're not going to use it. Oh man. Look at how pretty that is. And knowing me, I'll probably use way too much product because I get too excited. <laughs> I've been kind of putting my contour, bronzer, and I know there's a difference between contour and bronzing. I think what I do is really bronzing because I'm not really trying to like sculpt my face. I'm just trying to like get this area lifted. Um, but so I've been kind of putting my contour, bronzer, blush, highlight in this area, but in certain areas, if that makes any sense at all. <laughs> So far, everything I hoped it would be. What would really stink is if you paid so much for this and then it wore off. Like, if I'm paying $80 for something, it better last the whole entire day. All right, there is the bronzer, contour, whatever you want to call it. So pretty. It's really a good shade for my skin tone. Obviously, I'm paley pale pale, so. But that's a really good, really good shade for my skin. Okay, moving on to blush. I've been using this little um, e.l.f. This little e.l.f. brush. Um, it's a putty primer applicator, but it's really good for blush. At least I think so. Like I said, I'm going to be using the Coral Flush, which is the pinky one. Blush I apply to the apples of the cheeks, so I smile. And then I kind of bring it back a little bit. I'm in love. <laughs> love it. Now I'm going to take my sponge and kind of go around the edges to 
kind of blend it all in together. Tone it down a little bit. All right, now we are going to take the strobe light, or strobe powder, sorry, and solar strobe light. And I'm going to use that for my highlight. What did I use for my highlight brush? I haven't really found a good highlight brush. So we'll try this bad boy. I got this in BoxyCharm, it was in a set with some blush. It's from Half Caked. It's their 813 Duo Fiber. Okay, I don't really like that for that. Um, what else do we have? Maybe we'll try this brush. This is an AOA Studio F25. Okay, this highlight is very pretty but it almost looks a little too dark for me. I kind of need like brighter, whiter highlights, and this is more of like a darker shade. Um, I don't hate it, it's just I don't think the right highlight for my skin. The blush is beautiful. All right, now we're gonna go into that setting powder, and we are going to lightly, hopefully lightly, Put this on other areas of my face. It's so pretty, like in the pan, it looks like it, I mean, it has like a little bit of glitter in it, but when you get it on the skin, it's more sheer, like sheer looking, not sheer. Is that the word I'm looking for? <laughs> Just gives like your skin this like softness look. All right, so now I'm gonna take my sponge, press that into the skin. This is a trick I learned from Allie Glines here on YouTube. She puts any powders on her face, she'll go over it with her um, beauty sponge to try to take off like any loose extra powder that's on the skin. That way your face doesn't look like cakey and powdery. This is beautiful. <laughs> Definitely will not be returning this. I really like this a lot. Um, yeah, like I said, I didn't use that, but I did use this shade. I think I want to add just a little bit more, but I want to use a different brush. Where's my Lisa Frank brush? Here she is. Lisa Frank. And honestly, if you're using this for bronzer and blush, you almost don't even need a highlight because it just gives that like sheen to your face. Sheen. That's the word I was looking for earlier. Not sheer, sheen. <laughs> All right, now to use some setting spray. I've been back into this physician, physician's formula, the essence of healthy setting spray. By back in, I mean I used it like two days ago for the first time in a while. <laughs> lots and lots of setting spray because I want this look that I just created to be locked in until I'm ready to take it off at the end of the night. And I love that setting spray just literally like melts your makeup together to make it look awesome. 
All right, what should I put on for my lips? I really have been enjoying these Maybelline Ink Superstay Ink Crayons. This is the shade Achieve It All, which is like a pinky nudish, nudish shade. <laughs> And then I also have the shade Stay Exceptional, which is a more dark pink color. Um, those are the only two shades I had have. I would love to get more shades of this. Um, this is more my actual lip color. And this looks lighter, but when you put it on, it gets kind of dark. So I'm going to go for this lighter shade today. These smell like vanilla, they smell so good. And then the other day when I wore this shade, I also put over top of it this Maybelline Lifter Gloss that has hyaluronic acid in it. This is the shade Silk. It's kind of a similar, kind of a similar color, I would say. Well, yeah, this one might be a little bit darker. But it looks good over top of that lip crayon that I just put on. All right, this is the finished look. I really like how everything turned out. Like I said, in the Natasha Denona palette, that blue was like really glittery and I was not expecting that. It did have some fallout. Um, but then I went in with that Hourglass Ambient light palette and that also gives like a sheen to the skin so just kind of all goes together <laughs> but yes i'm so happy that my husband bought me this because i would have never ever ever purchased this for myself because it's just too expensive <laughs> so this is going to be my most treasured makeup item that i have currently because um, this is just a brand that I've been wanting to try because when I see other people try it out their skin just looks so beautiful with their products on and I'm just like ugh, I need to make it big here on YouTube so I can get on their PR list because <laughs> they have foundations and blood. like they have just a whole line of stuff that I would love to try in the future so yeah if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up that really does help my video um, if you are not subscribed, I would love for you to do so. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you will be notified every time I post a new upload. Yeah, and that is all I have. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.